Hello everybody, Hassan your engineer, MBA and investor and in today's video I want to talk about a new company that I have not covered in this channel and this company is Sana Biotechnology. I want to talk about this company and the way we will start this video is actually by looking at our infamous user on Twitter, the Twitter thread by Biotech2K1 user. He or she made a thread that I believe we should cover it. And this will be a great, great video because you get to see my thoughts here as to as I learn a new company. I know about the company sort of high level what they do, but I have never studied them. So this is going to be one of those videos where we study the company. I won't go as depth as I believe you should be going if you're going to invest in a company like Sana Biotechnology or any company that you end up investing. But again, this is the purpose of this channel. We provided you guys information for free so that you guys can leave or take it, right? It's up to you guys. And this is a great moment for me to guys to remind you to like this video, smash the like button. If you're not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. Uh, thank you so much for support, everybody. I actually have a new feature here in our channel what we call YouTube membership. So I think it's as low for like $2.99, uh, something something low like that. I called it like my mad scientist. So if you're curious, if you want to sign up for that, just underneath it, the subscribe button, I believe it, there's a button called join. Again, it's just for you people that have been asking me how to help this channel. We have no courses to sell. We have nothing to sell to you guys. All I want you guys is to like our video, subscribe, and to share it and maybe leave a comment or two and I want your attention and now I have this option for you guys basically to donate to this channel so that we can end up investing back in this channel or basically accelerating our mission which I've mentioned in the past where we end up investing in CRISPR and Genomics company with the ad revenue from YouTube and then this is where we would sort of share those numbers with you guys so that you guys have a participation for that so this is really this join button is for um, people that are really looking to help out this channel. Thank you so much for support. But again, no early videos, nothing. This is, this is no inside information here from me. You guys get to see all my videos. I never hide anything from you guys. You guys know how we operate in this channel. Everything is up for free. But again, if you can help out this channel, that would be even amazing, right? So I'm gonna look at this thread here. This is from biotech to k one like I said. This company gets no recognition as it is not owned by some of the funds that lead, lead to cult-like status for some companies. They are probably one of the most disruptive companies in biotech. I think Sana could be taking on all things on CRISPR companies that are doing ex vivo and doing it in in vivo. They're combining three of the most powerful technologies in the market today. Fusagen, CRISPR, and IPSC, right? The fact that this company is only at three billion dollars market cap when they're at when they are at five to five, ten billion is a gift for retail investors. They could be much bigger than all of the CRISPR companies combined. So that is a very bullish statement, guys. This is a very very bullish statement. Let's see what the biotech has to tell us here. Let us take a look at the pipeline, the science and potential. I have to rain in my in my excitement a bit because I could lay out a case for this being the one company that hits a one trillion dollars market cap in biotech so these are big bold statements by the user and this user is not known to make these big statements so I would definitely look further into this thread as I go through it they have a two parts of their pipeline the first half is using fusagen delivery technology to do in vivo cell Editing in T-cell, liver, and stem cell. The other half is about creating hypoimmune IPSC cells. Sana's platform technology. Let's take a look at it here. Technology and platform. So clearly you can see it's divided with in vivo and ex vivo. Obviously, just as a reminder for you guys, in vivo means doing the edit directly to the body itself. Ex vivo means extracting whatever you want to extract, do the modification, and then have to insert back. At first look, it may look like in vivo is a much more uh, efficient and much more less costly way, but there are some procedures where you definitely need want to do ex vivo due to risk, due to safety issues, and so on. So there are applications for both of them. So clearly, when I see it, that I look, I'm looking at different technologies here. This is what the user is referencing here: fusagen and stem cell derived. I look in the potential indication here: sickle cell disease. Interesting, they're tackling sickle cell disease as early as 2023. 
their first IND filing submission. Uh, we're looking at type 1 diabetes. I really like what I'm seeing here so far, guys. Higher heart failure. Huntington disease, that's really interesting. Therapeutic area, obviously, oncology. So this is for the myeloma, uh, cancers, so T cells. Okay, so, so far, so good, guys. So far, so good. But again, you can clearly see from the date, we're looking at at least two years here before we get IND submission. But again, in this, in this field, guys, we are talking about years. We never talk about weeks. Doesn't work like that. Fusogen is a virus-like particle. It takes the best things we know about viral delivery and combines it with NMP. This is a particle structure based on paramyoxi virus, which is about 30, 13 kilobases to 19 kilobases size, big enough to carry out any genetic payload. So very interesting. It combines with target cell targeting ligand and a fusion, fusion protein that allows cell entry. This can target liver cells and T cells and even stem cells that they could take and add a stem cell inside the patient to fix sickle cell disease instead of complex ex vivo process of other companies. Obviously, this is referencing to CRISPR therapeutics here that are doing ex vivo for, uh, to tackle sickle cell disease. They're working on doing first in vivo CAR T therapies. This will be the faster and safer for any patients by using patient's own T cells in safe and easy IV, right? Using T cell targeted fusome to make CAR T cells in vivo. This is really interesting, right? So I, I really like what I'm seeing here. So basically, we're talking about specificity, expression, and function, right? You target the the cell, right? The T cell, right? You put it fusome inside, and basically becomes you tackle that with CAR T cell, and then you can sort of eradicate the target cell killing, right, by targeting it, and then basically you have an amplification of good cells, right? Really nice here. I love, I love this, this diagram. I love it when they simplify with, like, uh, easy infographs or easy diagrams. So shout out to Sana Biotechnology there. Now, this is a process that do have its limits, and they can only do insertion of CAR, not a bunch of different edits. This is an autologous in vivo CAR T silipid, the therapy, which is revolutionary and validates the technology. So I really love what I'm seeing here, guys. The fusogen vector can be used as a delivery in any gene editing or therapy into liver or stem cell with the right editing technology. They could do everything every CRISPR company could do and do it in in vivo, like fixed stem cells for sickle cell disease. Interesting statement. Interesting statement. With these fusogen programs around CAR T cells, liver, stem cells, it could be worth five billion in long-term revenues. There are hundreds of diseases from cancer to stem cell. Honestly, five billion is being conser conservative at this point. I would go way above above that, especially with the numbers I've seen other companies like CRISPR companies pull up with the potential TAM for specific programs. What if what biotech here is saying, if they can do that, right? Basically, liver, stem cells, there's so many applications, so, so many other diseases they could tackle, right? The other half of their technology is about creating cell therapies that are completely invisible to the immune system. They've had a ton of success transplanting these cells, NHP, into fantastic results. So the immune system takes IPSC and knocks out HL1, HLA2, and upregulated CD47. This overcomes the T cells, NK cells, and macrophage, right? Take a look at here. Yeah, this is really, I love how they're they're making it simple for us to understand. I love those, those types of diagrams, right? IPSC derived from healthy donor and basically go through and this off-the-shelf therapies, right? I'm a huge fan of off-the-shelf therapies referred to Caribou Biosciences from CRISPR, obviously. They can... They can take those hypoimmune IPC cells and then take them into anything they desire from T cells to isolate cells to heart cells to cells into their brain. All right, interesting. Hmm. This is getting me a lot more interested, guys. I'm reading this and I would definitely want to put more time into researching, but I really love what I'm seeing here. They already have some impressive mouse data for these cells in diabetes and repairing myelin and MS mice. The potential of these cells is in the 10 of billions of dollars. They could cure MS with these kinds of programs. 
I know CRISPR Therapeutics is using capsules from biocide to insert isolate cells into the body. The, the system avoids the immune system completely with IPO immune isolate cells. The mouse data is really good for this program. So mouse data, obviously not human data, but you know, I think I shared the statistics one and I think mouse, mouse mice, mice and humans, they share like 99% of the genes, right? So if it's good in cells and mice and mouse, then you are most likely to get something really representative to humans, right? Obviously not the one to one ratio, can't state that, but it's really close. That's why the test research is always done on mice, for example. Um, so clearly you can see some data here and I love how they showed it that when they took off graft removal, the mice, the mouse became, became diabetic once more. Right, so this is a competition to Viacite's program, which I've covered in the last video yesterday, if you guys remember that. Um, so while everyone else is getting excited for genomes and cute buzzwords, Sana is disrupting the biotech world. The fact that those people have not discovered yet is a bonus for the rest of us. Obviously, I got the temper of enthusiasm that this is still in mouse NHP studies. They should be moving into clinical in 2022 for the in vivo CAR T. This, this won't be about having the best CAR T, it will be about proving that they can do in vivo with fusogen delivery. So first thoughts here as I'm reading here, I, you guys see how I'm thinking out loud as I'm reading Biotech 2 k ones um, tweets here as I'm going through the thread. First thing I'm, I'm thinking, I'm like, damn, like if they can do what they're promising, they being Sana Biotechnology, then to me, this, this puts shame to all CRISPR companies, right? Again, these are just words, right? We want to be careful when we make these types of statements. We want to make sure that we understand that, you know, there's a lot of homework here to be done here. We have to look at data. We have to let time play out. Time is a very important factor, especially when we're looking at these types of programs from Sana Bi Biotechnology. You know, some of these IND we won't even see until like 2024, right? So if we are basically at the end of 2021. There are many, many years to be had here of research and of phase one, phase two, and even phase three clinical trial data, you want to monitor those data, you got to basically go through the FDA process. You guys know how uh, this plays out. You know, this will take many years, but so far so good. I love how they're tackling T cells. And I love that statement about how it's not about getting the best data. It's more about proving that fusogen technology can work out for the sign of biotechnology where they can basically, uh, basically translate that to other, other programs, for example, the T on oncology programs that they're referencing here, or even the one with uh, sickle cell disease, beta telecemia, the multiple myeloma program they're trying to tackle, and the ex vivo one. Uh, I love that they're tackling both of them, specifically the type 1 diabetes. I covered literally this program from Biocide and CRISPR Therapeutics last yesterday. To me, what I will leave it off is I don't think it's, again, I always go back to this and I know people don't like me repeating that because it sort of takes away, you know, we always want to pick the winner, right? We always want to take the best company. We always want to take the, the company will, that will have the most multiples. It makes sense, right? We are humans. We want the best results. But ultimately, I think it's hard for our minds to grasp around the fact that the total addressable markets for all these diseases, specifically for type 1 diabetes, for example, is so vast so huge. What is a value that Health Canada, for example, that is willing to pay to CRISPR therapeutics and Biocide to develop a, a cure for type 1 diabetes? What is that value, right? And then you bring in Sana Biotechnology into the picture. They're going to distribute that, right? You, one company cannot solve type 1 diabetes, period. Not just in Canada. I'm th like, forget about just the world. I'm talking about like specifically in Canada, right? And then you talk about US, then you talk about African region, Europe developed nations, even less developed nations. It's emerging markets, right? It's, it, I'm so excited for this field, guys. And I love what I'm seeing here so far. I promised that I would cover uh, this this company here and that's exactly what I'm doing. Let's take a look at their stock price here. Like Biotech 2K1 mentioned here, they're worth about 3 billion market US dollars, right? That's quite low. If you take a look from its all time highs here, they peaked when about the time Earlier this year, when they went IPO, obviously you're looking at a price at a drop at almost 60%, even went below it. Um, beginning of the summer, basically by 60%. Um, interesting, right? So this company is definitely catching my eye. Biotech 2K1 made it definitely easy for me to understand. 
I'm looking at their cash here. They have some cash on hand looking at, but these numbers, you know, take them as a grain of salt, guys. You know, you're never going to get that. We're so early, you know, you're looking at these programs here that, you know, you're looking at some of these programs here, IND filings. We are so early. So um, let me know what you guys think. I know some of you have asked me to do a review on Bi Santa Biotechnology. This is just an introduction for us. You guys know what we do in this channel. We poke at the information available. Then as we go through it, it will take time, but I will be making more videos to, to cover Santa's platform, technology, and programs. But again, very early still from me. Curious to see what you guys think. What do you guys think about Biotech 2K1 tread? Do you guys think it's valid? Do you guys have any feed feedback for them? Uh, leave it in the comments below. Curious to see what you guys think. We'll e leave it the video like this. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Just wanted to make a video where we cover this company. Like this video, smash the like button if you found value from it. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not. And thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys tomorrow as you guys are having a beautiful weekend. I am on the road, so hopefully you guys appreciate the fact that I am at least trying with these videos. Sorry about not being in the usual office or my usual painting, as some of you noticed. So thanks so much for watching, guys, and I will wish you a beautiful Saturday, and we will see each other on Sunday. Thank you. Thank you.